This year we're implementing the Common Core standards into our daily instruction and it's changing the way that I teach. We're going deeper in a more specific area of math, so more depth than breadth. begin our lesson, let me just go over the flow of the day. So the goal of today's lesson was really being able to quickly add and subtract numbers, whether it's facts or large multi-digit numbers. All right, so now if you could please take out your math notebooks and pencils. So with a math lesson, we always start off with a problem of the day, and that gets the students engaged in what we're learning. Describe the relationship between regrouping and place value. Why do they need each other? kind of gets them prepped mentally for what they're going to be doing. If you didn't know place value, could you just explain that to me? From there, we go into our math lesson. I think you could benefit from taking everything we've learned about place value and adding and subtracting and putting it all into one game. Today's math game really tied in everything. Each partner's gonna get eight cards. They're going to rearrange them to make two four-digit numbers that when they subtract them, will create the largest difference possible. Who can remind me what difference means? Miriam? Difference means subtract. When you subtract, excellent. So you really have to understand place value to know that this would create a large number, right? These math games, they're not just getting a straightforward fill-in-the-blank answer. They have to think more abstractly. And when you get to college, you are asked much deeper questions. So when they have a stronger foundation of understanding the concept, they can then apply it in more advanced settings. Okay, so my answer is 7,605. While the other students were working, I worked with my small group. Okay, so now we're going to take away from 593 285. And since it's a small group, I can really see where mistakes are being made. Let's take five away from three. Can we do that? No. What's the problem? So? You can't subtract three minus five. I think specifically in math, what the Common Core has required is that students are able to have discussions about how they solve problems in multiple ways, as opposed to celebrating the way in which a teacher taught them how to get an answer. Round two. Math helps me because right now I'm learning to regroup and maybe in college they're gonna have a question, a hard question, and if like, then you need to regroup something and you already know how to do it. 25. Oh my God, you won! Yeah, I'm the winner. I got two zeros. At the end of every lesson we all come together and we close on what we did where they have to explain. How do we use regrouping? How did you solve this problem? So first of all, who would like to share their strategy when they play the game? Kyla? For the second numbers, I put like, like the small digits so I could get a higher number. Exactly. When you go from a high to a low, you have a greater difference. Who would like to explain why it's necessary to regroup when we're adding, subtracting multi-digit numbers? I like when there's a zero in front of the bottom numbers, then you have to regroup and make the ones place a 10 and subtract it. So now I have a larger number on top. I love when students are able to engage in interesting discussion. Before Common Core, it's sort of like, oh, we have to get through the material. There isn't time for that. But now it's like, I'm more engaged, they're more engaged, instead of just, yep, you got it, that's right. It's a more, I mean, we're more involved in the process. Mm -hmm.